One of the tragic realities, though, for COVID-19 patients is that they can't have any visitors in the hospital. And for those who lose the battle, there are no loved ones right there to comfort them in their final hours. So an ICU nurse at SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital, she is raising money to buy iPads to give patients and their loved ones a chance to stay connected. Uh, Russell Kinsall talked with her today about what prompted her to do this. And Russell, you also have information on how someone can help with this. That's right, yeah, she's really motivated to help out. It's the tough reality going on right now. Patients in hospitals cannot have any visitors, COVID-19 patients or anybody else, but a patient needs the encouragement from a family member and really those family members, it's hard to have closure if they can't be there in those final days or final hours. But there is a nurse and she is dedicated to change all that. As much as nurses try to provide love and encouragement, patients risk feeling all alone and families in the dark because of COVID-19 restrictions. They're not allowed in the hospital because of the possibility of being contaminated. So um, we don't allow visitors. Amy Holloway is an ICU nurse at St. Mary's Hospital. She says it's been heartbreaking to see families unable to be there during a patient's final moments. I've had families whose um, loved ones were admitted to the hospital from going to an urgent care and the next thing they knew they were on a ventilator diagnosed with COVID-19 and that patient passed away and they never got a chance to speak to their family again. So she's on a mission to buy iPads and distribute them to her hospital and all the others in the area. I just thought that this would be the perfect opportunity for them to at least be able to speak to their family during this process and let that family member hear their voices and have some kind of comfort as they pass. Holloway started a GoFundMe account called FaceTime for Families. She said giving families a way to communicate will lift the spirits of any patient. So far, she's purchased six iPads and hopes to buy and distribute many more. I hope so. I hope so, because these families need it. So the first iPad she purchased herself, and she's going to have it engraved with the name of a fellow nurse at St. Mary's who died from COVID-19 and also the name of the very first patient at St. Mary's who lost the battle with COVID-19. Live downtown, Russell Kinsall, News 4.